to the Orc Framework Tutorial Series video for today. We're going to be going over uh, putting in an interaction controller so that we can start up a simple dialogue. Um, this is going to include a new GUI box, creating one of our first events, as well as a little extra what we're going to do today. We're going to change um, the input keys a little bit. I like to use WASD or WASDs keys to move around. I'm not overly fond of the arrow keys. It's kind of like awkward when you use a mouse. So I want to show you really quickly how you could change these. So if you're trying to like map it to a controller or map it to different keys, set your own key layout, you change these inputs right here. So the Unity Input Manager is one that a lot of people will use just to like set up their own stuff unless you have your own um, plugin to use. But uh, key code I change this to DA for the horizontal and hold down as well as uh, WASD. I, I think I want to change these just to down and let me tell you why. Is The way it's currently set up, if you hold down D or A, not only will you turn but you'll turn and then start running in like a 90 degree direction from where you just were. So if you're facing north, you press D, you're now going to face east and just start running east. You won't just continually turn around or turn around in like a circle so let's just do that as a down so it just rotates you and then nothing else happens all it does is rotate right it won't ever let you keep going uh vertical uh w and s except to let the same i changed um cancel to tab and sprint is shift so you can change any of these to what you want like so left shift is sprint and i have it holding uh to activate or to continue working and there is a 0.5 delay so it'll start half a second after I hold it down just to you know create a little bit of realism all right now that we've got that and take care of I'm gonna go ahead and save that see how that works see if I like it the sort of things you mess around with all right let's go into our scene so we should be in there we go yeah we're in the town all right what we want to do is we want to go to our scene wizard create object all the way at the bottom interaction controller 3d interaction controller Okay, now I already made a folder for this in my prefabs for interaction controllers where I can put all this stuff. What I want to do is let's just zero all this out real quick. All right, and go ahead and drag and drop it here. So we can delete that from our scene now. We don't need it there anymore. Now, just because I like being organized about my stuff, we're going to go ahead and change this to town underscore uh, simple dialogue. I can spell. Simple dialogue. All right. There we go. After we finish that, let's go ahead and go to our framework, uh, base control, and go to game controls. Scroll down here to player component interaction and just select this. Right there. All right. It'll open up this list of things. And what you want to do is you want to select a little circle and then type in town. There we go. Town simple dialogue. Boom. All right. And that's all we got to do for that. Now that that's finished, let's head over to menus. And we're going to duplicate the main menu here in GUI boxes if it's not already selected. So in where it says main menu, just go ahead and click copy. Let's change the name of that to bottom dialog. Um, change it to scroll. If there's a lot of dialog, you want to be able to scroll through it instead of it just sort of getting cut off by the screen forever. Let's go ahead and uh, scroll down here to content box settings. If you notice, I have all these a lot of these closed up just for safe spacing, uh, space saving. And we're going to change this to 0, 800, 300. And I think that, that should be good enough. And then we're going to go down here to... <laughs> there it is, name box things. I lost that for a second. Just change this to 200. Oh, uh, we do want to change this to bottom or to lower left lower left all right that's all that's all good okay now we're going to move on to creating our first event so save your settings if you don't do it here it'll it'll uh, make you do it when you click on events so either way you'll get them saved all right so we're going to create a basic game event so let's go to open game event no, we don't have anything that's perfect uh, new game event and we are going to, 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 to we're going to change a couple of these settings in here. So it's a blocking event. 
because we don't want the player to we want to set up the fact the player is going to be blocked by certain things we're going to block the player control and block camera control and uh, we're going to add an actor player and that's it for that yep 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 okay we want to go to add UI dialog show dialog and then here we're going to make a couple other changes so we want this to be a message but we want to change our GUI box here to bottom dialog make sure that wait is enabled and enabled is enabled uh, make this new speaker make sure this is player and then uh, show name and yeah actor okay yep and that should be good enough for those settings let's go down here to our actual message so here you can write anything you want I suggest you have a little bit of fun with it I'm gonna stick pretty close to the uh, to the tutorial hi this is a simple dialogue I can't spell still okay there we go we're all done just click OK saves the dialogue there and then uh, save event as we go into our events folder simple dialogue all right okay now what we want to do is head back into our scene and you can put this person wherever you want in the tutorial he's like over here which is totally fine so we'll just go ahead and go to our pre our NPCs actually go to green and put him right there he is okay perfect Let's just rotate him around oops so he's kind of facing where the player is going to be there we go all right while we have him selected let's go to the scene wizard add component event interaction in here this is where you're gonna add the event that you just created so our simple dialogue select OK and here is where you're going to want to change your settings to make sure that this says interact. It may say something else. Um, this should all be selected already. You don't want to do that. But all the only thing we want to really change here is ensure that this says interact, that this is an event, and that both of these are enabled. This just turns the event to the player, turns the player to the event, so they end up facing each other no matter kind of where you are. Because what we're going to do is that controller we created earlier, we're going to adjust a little bit onto on our player so if we go to our scenes let's just scroll down here scenes main menu yeah go ahead and save that save all select play select new game now if you go up to this guy yeah see it doesn't do anything after you hold it so that works perfectly all right you're, nothing's happening right it's like really hard to get it to work and if you do get to work it is it just doesn't work very well okay so what we want to do is select the scene tab up here while it's still in play and you can pause this if you want and then um, go into your brown pants and you'll see his interaction controller is, that we created um, let's just open him up over here right here this guy it's in the floor and it's like right on him we don't want that we want to fix that so that it's a lot easier for us to actually interact with stuff and to do that we just need to adjust it and move it about right there that's fine let's just uh, go to the top view real quick this and that just to make sure yeah okay that's looking a lot better I just want to make sure that this is kind of centered okay now that we've got that in a much better position, I don't think it'll work again. Yeah, there it goes. Perfect. So it's a lot easier to make that stuff work out. It looks like we have to adjust our size for our, our name setting. It's a little bit off there. So that's a, a good thing to go over. So if you encounter issues like that where the GUI's a little bit off, let's just go to our menus, go to our GUI boxes. Let's see what happened there. Okay, uh, name box. Oh, huh, yeah, 200. There we go. That should fix it. And let's go in and test it one more time just to make sure everything's good. Go in. No. 
There it is. Perfect. Brown pants is seen. Okay, now one thing we want to do is, I don't know if you noticed, but when we played the scene, when you go in, if you pause it, and you go to the scene here and you select brown pants, the interaction controller is still like in the wrong place. So what we want to do is when we realign this thing real quick, just like that and like that, Okay, 1.13 1 and 0.92. So let's go in here, base controls, control, offset, 1.13, 1 0.92. Save that, confirm, save, save, and then play again. You should notice that this becomes a lot easier to use because now it's like in front of the person and let's make sure that that is exactly what's happened here yep so now you have all this area to make interactions occur instead of having to like get right up in his face it makes it look a little more natural all right so that will call it for our adding interaction controllers and creating our very first event i would suggest that you spend a little time before the next video kind of looking through events and seeing what they uh, all the drop downs do and what you can really do with them because they really do help you expand on how you're going to make your game and what you're going to be able to do this way I can kind of speed through that sort of stuff and I will see you next week